All right, what is up, YouTube? It's Mr. Zuni back out with another video, and Zan has been doing nothing but great this year. I think it's you know not one of the top top performers, but it's been one of the top performers out there in the DeFi space and crypto. Just because this thing has been beaten down so bad, I think it was at like ninety nine percent or ninety eight, ninety seven percent down from all time highs. But remember, all time highs doesn't really matter when a project launches. Just because how this project was launched. Obviously, we're getting everything for free. People were dumping. It was obvious. Uh, one day, um, mentors made out the best, and the rest just waited for the tokens. But yeah, guys, you gotta think about it like this: is the end goal in mind. Think about how what you want to do. For me, there's two different ways I'm gonna play this. Now, I'm gonna have a lot of Zen, hopefully, on Ethereum, Binance, Polygon, and uh, Matic, and. Um, Arbitrum, or hopefully when they launch Arbitrum, uh, and um, AVAX. So I want those, and Phantom, honestly. I think Phantom might be the sleeper. Who knows? One of them is going to be a sleeper. I'm not sure which one it is. It may be the one I'm not even on right now. Maybe it's Moonbeam. I want to get a bag in Moonbeam as well. It, honestly, it wouldn't hurt to get a, a bag in each and every one of them, to be honest. Even Pulse Chain, when that launches, uh, that's going to be a big thing. So the goal for me is to ha have a, a lot of Zen, to accumulate as much as I can with Zen at the cheapest prices. I've been batch minting. So if you guys are not batch minting, I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. There's a bunch of other batch mint tools, uh, even on Dead, uh, uh, Jack's web website. I think he has a couple mints, uh, minters, a lot, lot nicer. They look a little bit um, newer. But I think this is one of the first ones I was using and that I kind of just liked and stuck to. So it hasn't stolen my money yet. So I'm kind of still using it. Uh, so yeah, so remember you get batch mint on here. It's pretty cheap. It's cheaper and it's time. It's more time effective. You're not spending like hours trying to mint your stuff. I would say keep an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, Shouts out to Nakamoto because he's been making a lot of Zen videos and he's been, uh, you know, giving us some gems over here. He's been helping us uh, just, you know, with the whole Zen thing. For a lot of us, maybe that don't have all the time in the world to, to be on crypto, it's important that you can get some trustworthy YouTubers. And I think Nakamoto is pretty much one of them uh, and is, is is doing great. So shout out to him. I'm meaning to shout out Nakamoto for a minute. Um, but yeah, man, shout out to you. You've been doing some crazy great work. And honestly, I saw your video today about Arbitrum. That's why. I'm so excited about that. Hopefully that does come out and Jack is still doing his thing, still making and still working and bringing out projects. So remember when we are launching other projects like DBZen and X Lomar, um, Lomars and then the X Doge, all these other projects, Phoenix, for me, I'm going to, you know, participate in them, but I'm not trying to, you know, burn my whole bag because in crypto it is going to be one player versus all sometimes and i feel like a lot of people are going to burn tokens they probably shouldn't because they're trying to get in these projects which is not bad they can, you know four or five x whatever but i'm looking at the big picture of having as much as i can of zen and then when i have my bag i go over to x1 and i swap them out one for one hopefully it's still one for one you know hopping out swapping out and getting like a hundred thousand two hundred thousand of the x1 token on ethereum binance polygon all these chains right that's the big thing swapping them over and getting them all in one so hopefully that works out and that's another way where you can make millions obviously you see nakamoto uh saying we could do 120 dollars per token you know in the next bull cycle so that's about two years from now give or take or, or a little bit longer so this could be big and even if we get half like you said like fifty dollars or or so it's still good money if you have a good amount of them so that could be a way to make you rich and like i said you, you're just minting these for a couple bucks if you're doing it on uh days where the fees are low um obviously i was doing a lot of my minting when the gas fees were like four or five dollars on on eth at the time which was crazy to think about it now uh, now I think they're at like the $10 range, give or take seven, eight, ten dollars range. But yeah, I just want to make a quick video and show you guys what I'm thinking, what I'm looking at. Yeah, we are going down. Like you, obviously when we hit this peak, you guys shouldn't have been buying here. Hopefully you guys didn't catch any of that bag. Obviously we're going to retread. 
uh, re, you know, re, um, probably go back down to April 16th levels maybe, and then see if we go down a little bit further or we pop up from there. But yeah, remember, this is a patience game. Get your free mints. Buy a little bit here and there when it's really bloody. Like right now, I mean, it's down 12%. Could be another time to buy a little bit on um, uh, ETH. Obviously, if you bought here, you wrote it back up, but it's back down again. So just be very careful with this. We're still down 98%, and we were up around that 10x or maybe 12x at that time. Um, so just remember that is going to be one token to keep your eye on. And if this thing does, you know, 100x, 200x, or thousands of x's, you don't want to miss this train, but you don't want to be too greedy and hop and buy the tops. You want to wait for the lows and buy a little bit. Like I've been, I've been buying since January or actually. Been, did I start buying? I think I bought, yeah, in January time. I bought a little bit in February, about a little bit in March, and I've been happy that I've been DCAing. It's important, especially if you've gone through a, a um, bear market or down market, it's important to, to look at other cycles, look at other YouTubers back in those times and seeing who did well, what they did. And just honestly, if you're buying, if you're able to like put a little bit in every every week, or every two weeks or every month, you know, you're gonna hit a bottom, you're gonna catch a bottom, it's just inevitable. You may not hit the exact bottom, but you hit the roundabout bottom, you know, and it's good, it's all good. Um, that's what I wanna bring to you guys real quick. So with Zen, yes, it's cool to get into these projects, honestly. I'm getting into these projects, I'm excited for Phoenix that will be launching on uh, Polygon tomorrow. But all I'm saying is don't burn your big supply of your Zen because you never know what those will be worth. Plus, if everyone's burning it, try not to do what everyone's doing. Obviously, no one was really buying Zen and now everyone's buying Zen. So just try to think about that. Don't be, be different. Research other projects and try to do your best to do your own thing and not always follow me or any other YouTubers. Try to do your thing. Figure out what you like, figure out what projects you like, and kind of figure out uh, projects within those projects. Or like Ethereum, you're going to figure out other you know tokens that are on Ethereum, like Doge, if you were able to buy Doge and stuff like that, that could do well in the next bull market. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.